Hello everyone, this is Louie from the Tactical Performance Center here at the 2024 SHOT Show. Have a, something a little bit different today. We're here with Roy and he is with a company called Eurotech. They import CNC machines, really high quality CNC machines from Europe that have a pretty big footprint in the firearms industry. Roy, can you tell us a little bit about the company? Yeah, so we've been importing these machines for 30 years. And what really what led us to this was the unique ability to do one and done. Uh, these are niche machines, they're multi-axis, and the idea is to take a complicated part similar to an, this here is an AR bolt mm -hmm. and take the multiple operations. Some people have up to 12 different operations and there are up to 34 tools on this wow. and complete it in one operation, one setup. So this part is being dropped off our machine in a single operation. And, and the, the great benefit to, to basically the manufacturers is the cost savings. Even though our machines are not cheap, the labor you just disappears. So instead of having eight, 10, 12 guys touching this handleless and the scrap rate, you have one person. And that one person can't handle just one machine, it could be multiple machines. Mm -hmm. And as we push the cycle times down, I mean, this part now out of 9310 can be done in the cycle time of under five minutes, 20 seconds. And it could run all night unattended. So you could have your employee line up for these machines, set it up and come back in the morning and every machine would have kicked out hundreds of these parts. Wow. So essentially every five minutes, this is coming out of the machine. Correct. And the machining is complete and you're just going up to your hurt, hurt, heat treating, mm -hmm. uh, but there's no other additional machining when it comes on the first uh, machining. And that machine, you're looking at a part as it comes off our machine. And I'd imagine that the fact that less hands are, are on each part, um, the precision has to be better. Correct. It is much better because the only handoff is between the spindles, which have a C-axis, mm -hmm. which the accuracy of those is beyond any accuracy required in this part. And there's no human interference. So there's no one, every time you take it and grab it and you manually stick it in, there's some human interaction. And it's not similar to a C-axis on the machine, which you're talking microns. Well, wow. So therefore you eliminate all that. So not only is your, your for instance, people get into tag time. And the problem there is you're handling, if your guy's not there, if he's laid on the grab, this is just automated. Okay. And it's, believe it or not, the price per hour on these machines, if you run multiple shifts, will be less than a single employee. And unlike an employee, in five years it's paid for, they don't call in sick, and you know there's no vacation days, there's no pay raises, and the machine is paid off. Then after five years, you have no payments. So the firearm industry is really, we've, we've had a strong footprint because we're pushing and showing. Like This is one example, another is a barrel. Mm -hmm. So once again, uh, this we're doing this part complete, all the machining except the rifling in one operation. And even a complex part, like this is an AR bolt carrier. Mm -hmm. And once again, this is not a typical, what people would think as a mill part, but because of these machines, as they've evolved the technology, the live tool has gotten strong enough where they're replacing operations by mill. So you're eliminating all the handling. And once again, this part comes off in one operation complete in our machine. Okay. So this, this machine obviously can do the work of, of many, many people. Correct. Um, but something that, that you told me yesterday that I really found um, really interesting was that it's not recommending that we get rid of the people, but we can reallocate them Correct. for other more important uses. Yes. So today's problem isn't, it's just the number of employees. You can't find enough. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's to get people interested in this industry, a lot of people get sucked into and don't realize what a lucrative, well-paying jobs you can have. And our customers are struggling to get employees. So we're not saying get rid of your employees. We're saying reallocate, re-employ, train them to do better. You can pay them a little bit more because instead of one guy just grabbing this part, mm -hmm. pushing a buddy, taking it and loading it, he can learn to make changes and offsets on two or three machines and his productivity goes through the roof. So you can actually invest in your employees, pay them more, and they'll be more profitable for the company simply because of how much they can produce. So we simply say, hey, you can help eliminate that issue with labor because these six or seven employees that were involved in this, you not only have one, and he's out producing all of them wow. that were previously. And now you can take those employees, put a little bit of time and educate and get them better acquainted because this is some new technology. Mm -hmm. And then you redeploy them throughout the shop. So the, the, the great thing about that is the employee problem sort of goes away because you're simply reallocating employees that are tied up, what I call doing simple, simple tasks that are no longer required because the automation takes over. Okay. Um, you're one of the first CNC um, machines that were, were offered at SHOT Show, right? Yes, we were. So we, we, we came many, many years ago 
uh, we had some customers and we were starting to get involved and we did some turnkeys mm -hmm. and we were very much intrigued by the shot show. Like we, we were not aware of it. And we went to it before we did our first booth, we went to it and just walked the show, similar to many people here. Mm -hmm. And we were blown away. We just could not believe, first of all, as we walked around, just seeing booth after booth after booth that says, that they can use this machine. They could use our machine. So we made the business decision to put a machine here and demonstrate, and it has been unbelievably successful. It's probably one of our favorite, most successful shows we've ever been to. Uh, for both, both our reception by the people going by, intrigued, looking and by gaining new customers. And then when we're here now, obviously we have a pretty well-known established name in the gun industry, but we're setting up appointments with many, many of our customers. They come and they want to see the machine. We go to their booths, we give them the parts, we show the demonstration. So it's uh, we, we've been extremely pleased with this show and we will continue to support it to come here. So your machines are used in the firearms industry, um, I believe you said the medical community. Yes. And aerospace. Aerospace, yeah. Those, probably those three are are, are are probably our largest concentration. We do a lot of job shops as well. Mm -hmm. But it fits so well into those because it's the elimination of human interference, elimination of errors, of problems, elimination like the redeploying of, of employees. And those industries have been really attracted into doing that. So aerospace, we've been very successful with connectors, whether it be ink and aluminum, all the different parts, and medical too, because there's very complicated parts. And they're looking, of course, to get them done in one, once again, because across not just firearms, but all the industries, there's a shortage of qualified labor. Okay. So they really need to try to redeploy and find those guys that can accomplish more with a single employee. And I'm familiar with at least one of your clients. I'm not going to yes. name names, <laughs> but I can I can tell the TPC audience that this manufacturer makes some of the absolute best firearms available in terms of precision, yes. um, quality, a very well-known company that is, again, I, I'm not going to name names. <laughs> but um, if they're using your machines, that's got to be a testament to the quality of your product. Yeah, so th these machines are made at a factory. We're not a commodity. We, we don't, we're not known for one, two axis, three axis. We're a multi axis. And I tell people we're for high production, but we're also, it's the quality of the machine. They're made in Italy. And if you need someone that's looking for a great finish or trying to hold a tolerance, ours, ours is the machine to go to because they're a niche manufacturer. We can do things that most can't because they're trying to be a little bit of everything to everyone mills, lays, two axis, three axis, we're a niche. We have concentrated, this is our specialty. We're a Y, I mean, 98% of the machines I sell have a Y axis on them. Uh, then I sell more dual turrets and single turrets, which I, I believe there's maybe only one or two other companies in the world that do that. Wow. But that's really just because it's our specialty, it's our niche, which our factory is, uh, has done a great job at doing. Okay, well Roy, I wanna thank you for your time. Okay. Um, for the TPC viewers, I know this is something slightly out of the ordinary for, for our channel, but we figure that it would be very interesting to see how the technology is really improving the industry. So until the next time, uh, thanks for watching. Um, hope you subscribe, like, and share. Thanks, Roy, once again. No, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Have a good show. Appreciate it. You too. Thank, thank you. you.